In this video, I'll be showing how to get all 43 crates in the Roblox Metaverse Champions event in week 4, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more guys on this event and like the video. But overall, that is 11 crates for Striker, 10 for Ren, 11 for Sparks, and 11 for Faye. You only need to complete one game's quest per team to get the crate for that week. So for Striker, you're going to get AJ Striker's crate drop number 4, Ren's going to give you Ren's treasure chest number 4, Sparks is going to give you Sparks secret package number 4, and Faye is going to give you Faye's terror case number 4. But this is going to be my last video on how to get crates in the Metaverse Champions event because this is week 4 and this is how to get all all of them, so unless if there's like a secret crate you can get after week 4 somehow, then I'm not going to be doing any more videos on how to get the crate. Now with all that information out of the way, let's get started with Striker's team. The first game is Blocks Royale. Press the Medverse Champions button, it's on the right side of the screen, then it's going to teleport you over to this area. Now I have some friends in my server, so we're going to all go over here and then we just have to press enter. Or, yeah, two out of four players. Now, wait, there are three of us here, but it says two out of four. So exit, I guess, and then enter. Oh, maybe he didn't press enter. Yeah, so it's just me and one of my friends now, and that's going to open up. And again, we just need to survive until wave five. This is like Clash Royale. We have Elixir, and we need to just spam our units. So as you saw on the bottom, we have units. Just click them, and then click the ground. You can only place them in the grass area. So just place your units a whole bunch. Keep doing that until wave five. So now we're on wave two. I keep spamming units. We have so many units on the ground. Wave three, and then four now. So then there's a cutscene and a big egg guy. He killed so many units, but we're on wave five and there is the badge. Then the second game is Tower Defense Simulator. It's been delayed multiple times, so they're probably going to release it within the next few days. I highly doubt that it's going to be released today. It's likely going to be delayed again. Anyways, they released a code. It is delayed. And then that says invalid because I already used it, but if you go over to inventory and then crates, you're going to get a free premium crate. So unlock that and then equip whatever tower you get from it. There's a map called Cyber City and they're currently remaking it, so whenever it does release, then just do the Cyber City map, win, and then you're going to get the crate. This is a tower defense game, so just place units along the path. Third is treasure quest. You need to go over to play, press monolith boss, and then difficulty... There's medium, hard, demon, and impossible. I'm gonna just do medium because that's the easiest you can do. And then I am going to start. So then it's gonna teleport us over to it. Then once we're here, we can press start and it is going to start the game. So there is the monolith boss right there and he has 2,900 health. I haven't played in so long. I don't know how much damage I do. Like hopefully, uh oh, he's doing a spinny thing. I don't like when he does that. Wait, I'm taking, like, no health. Oh, I got the badge. That was extremely easy. Fourth is Unboxing Simulator. Striker is gonna be at the spawn, and we need to talk to Striker. So, he is gonna say, to earn the badge, open 100 boxes, then press Start. This is very easy. Like, if you just go over to the first area, if you've played before, you can instantly open all the boxes. So, I'm already at 5. We just need to open... 90 more now and we're going really fast so you can just click a whole bunch of boxes now we only need one more there we go press claim then you're going to get the badge fifth is war simulator you just need to defeat 15 invader npcs so they're red and i have a sniper so i'm just gonna snipe him right there yeah there we go and wait that didn't count okay i don't think that was an invader npc so they're red yeah, that is definitely an invader, and that counted as one. It looks like all of the NPCs on this map are red. Sixth is Raddy. Once you spawn, go over to this guy in the lobby, and then you can talk to him. He will say, Oh, hey, we have lost communication with our lab on Easter Island, and I need for someone to go see what has happened. If you go, I'll give you a reward. 
So we need to go to the Easter Island map. I just waited for a round to start and we gotta vote for the Metaverse Champions Easter Island map. It's in the bottom left and the name is blue. So just make sure you're voting for that map. If you're in a public server, most people are probably going to try to do the Metaverse Champions quest here. So it's very likely that everyone is going to vote for the Metaverse Champions map every time. Once you spawn in, there's going to be a number here, right? Two is third or like whatever number it is. Cause you really need to have that. Like, you need to memorize what it is so that you can have all three numbers, because you're going to need to use that later in the game. But there's going to be a gold key in the closet. You can use that to unlock this door. It's basically like Piggy. Just go around, find the keys, use them on the doors, and then I'm going to speed this up a bit. Oh, wait, before I do, uh, we want to go over here because this is where the second number is. So, seven is... Or actually, that's first. So, yeah, seven is the first number and then two is third, then the next one is over here, so we're gonna need to get the purple key to go underground, which I think my friends already did. I think it has different spawn locations, but you want to use that on this sewer tunnel thing to go underground, and then we need to go over here, because planks are in this room. So once you get the wooden planks, or I think they could spawn in a different location, but the wooden planks are usually here, so once you get those, then you can use the wooden planks over here, and then you're gonna need the red key to unlock that area, but you don't exactly need it, because there's a note in there with another one of the numbers on it, but you can just look through, and then it's a little harder to see from just- I think it's actually gonna appear on that once the door is opened, so we probably can't just look through like this. Yeah, I don't see the number there. And so we actually have to go inside of this room. Then the second number is two. So yeah, the code is 722. So I'm going to say 722 is code in the chat. And then now we need to go over back to this area so that we can use that on the code panel thing. So go down here, go into this room, and then there's going to be a panel press these buttons to make the number go up. So we need to make it 7, 2, 2, then press enter code. That's going to open this room, and there's going to be a white key. So now we need to go back up here, which we can use the Easter Bunny exit to go up there pretty fast. And then we need to use this on the door over here. But first we got to get the hammer so that the hammer can break the planks. And then we got to get the wrench so that the wrench can turn this panel on. But the white key is the final thing that you're going to need. So my friend just used the wrench. The hammer is in the truck over here. The wrench spawns randomly, I think. So get the hammer from the truck. My other friend did it. And so he's going to use that on the planks. Then I can use the white key. Now we can open up this area. You escaped. It will have a cutscene and say you need to talk to the scientist again. So let's just go over to him. And then, oh, the next round is starting soon. Yeah, let's talk to him. He says, great, now board the Metaverse Express and you'll get your reward. So, we need to... Uh-oh. It says he is lying and... No, I don't want to go in the voting menu. Oh no, now everything is black and white. You want to go across this bridge and then follow this area. Like, go into the darkness because you need to go around this area to get into the train. Or, like, jump up here first and then go around into the darkness so that you can go into this train place. Close that menu if it comes up. And this is kind of glitched, like you need to look at it from a certain direction for the thing to appear. So there we go, hold E to board the Metaverse Express, and then that is supposed to teleport you to the Metaverse Champions place. And it says, let's hope nothing goes wrong this time. Metaverse Champions, and we're currently loading into the game. You're gonna get teleported to this train, so you just need to go off of it, and then turn left at this thing, and then there's gonna be a book on the ground. So we need to collect that book. So hold the E to collect it, and then it says, interesting, I wonder who would just leave this here. Hold E to interact with this, and then you're gonna go over to the stage, then there's an announcer, he's basically gonna say, welcome, and I'm getting an award for winning the Metaverse Champions here, but like, you don't actually win it yet, there's something you gotta do after this. 
And yeah, he's saying, where's AJ? AJ Stryker is gone. So we need to go over here and it says in this menu, go find AJ and continue the award ceremony. So we need to go inside of this building and there are going to be lasers. And I recommend don't touch the lasers. That's not a good idea. There's going to be an emerald right here. Hold E to collect it. And then you need to... Uh-oh, I touched the laser. I just said that isn't a good idea, and then I did it. Uh, and then we can examine this part of the wall. It seems like someone or something broke in here. Yeah, probably. Hopefully I heal. I don't know if healing is disabled. I don't think it is. So we just need to go over to the darkness, and then it's going to teleport us over to this place. There's the emerald gem. Why hello there, Talanthric. Say hello to your team leader, AJ. Help me, I can't lead our team to victory. I don't know, it seems like AJ Stryker would be pro enough to, like, break out of this area. I don't think he'd be captured by Ren's team. But anyways, it seems like he is. So, basically, the Emerald is mad, and you need to fight him. And he's gonna attack you, and you definitely need to avoid those attacks, because they're gonna damage you, and you do not want to be damaged, it's not a good idea. So, there we go, now hopefully he doesn't do that again. Uh-oh, that, I don't know what just happened, but it doesn't seem good. Yep, I definitely don't want to touch those weird things that are falling, but I want to do whatever that is. Yeah, okay, now a big thing fell and hit him, so we need to wait for him to do the next attack. So, okay, I don't know what he just did, but we need to go over on these islands and then turn on the laser. Then we need to run away from these as fast as possible. So it says, get off those rocks before they something. Yeah, oh wow, we barely escaped there. Yeah, that is too close. That's like way too close. I think they need to extend the time it takes for you to like go off of them. Because there is so little time. Oh no, it shook and now that thing restarted. No, it keeps restarting. Okay, just hold E, and then, wait, can we jump this way? Oh, we can jump that way, yeah, that's way easier. And that is going to hit the Emerald Gem. Now he says, wow, you beat me, I shouldn't be surprised, your team is always superior, here you can have AJ back in the crate. Then the seventh game is Power Simulator 2. You just need to go over to the NPC at the spawn here, press E to talk, then he says, that he has received intel from Hero Headquarters, and AJ Stryker has gone missing. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Press anywhere to continue, okay? This is serious news. Oh no, it's wanting me to attack. Uh, so... We just need to find AJ Stryker, and if we go under quests, then we can see... Read on AJ Stryker and the library. Here's the location of the library on the map. It is pretty far away. So that's the island we were just at. You want to go across that bridge there and then to over here. Then, like, there's going to be an arrow pointing here. Sometimes the arrow is glitched and it points somewhere else that you don't even need to go. But if you follow the arrow, it's going to bring you over to this library. And now we can go inside of it, press E to read. And it says, you pick up a book on AJ Stryker and read all about his stories. And then... He has spent his retirement relaxing in Beach Island for the last several years after suffering a volcano-related injury. So now, if we go over to the quest menu, it says completed. We can reset and go back to that guy at the spawn, then talk to him again, and he's going to give us another quest. So here we are. Press E to talk. He says, interesting. You talk to him again. Now he says, now you know a bit more about AJ Stryker. You can sense why it's surprising for him to just vanish. You need to talk to some criminals and see if this is the work of Dark Surge or his minions. This is kind of pay to win because you could just spend Robux to skip all of the quests. But the bank is over here right by the spawn. So just go over to the bank, fight the criminals. You need to defeat 20 of them. So I have this fire thing. I can literally just one-shot them. So this is going to be easy. I'm going to speed this up though because it's just going to be me fighting 20 criminals.
The IP servers are free, and in public servers, a lot of people are going to try to fight the robbers at the same time, so I recommend making a VIP server so you can fight them without anyone trying to take your kills. But now we can talk to this guy again, and then he is going to say that we need to go look around Beach Island to see if you can find anything that would help. Perhaps something lightning related. And so if we go back to quests, it says look for object in Beach Island. This is basically just running around the map a whole bunch. So what you need to do is that's the island we spawned at. We need to go to the island on the left and then keep going to the island on the left of that. Because this is Beach Island, you're going to have an arrow pointing to it. So just follow the arrow. Again, the arrow glitches sometimes. I found the thing we need to collect. So if you look at the map, I'm right here. So go to this exact location in between this building and the shields and then it is going to be on this rock so press e to take it and it says metaverse hero quest has been completed we can reset again and talk to the quest guy so it's respawning us there we go and so this guy is gonna say you found his weapon of choice a lightning saber talk to him again and he wants me to get something else. So if we go to quests, grab radioactive stars from the junkyard. The junkyard is on the island you spawn in, and it's right here. It's pretty big, and it's not that far away from the spawn, so you can walk over here kind of fast. So there's a radioactive star, and then we need to collect all eight here. I'm going to speed this up. Just go around and collect all eight radioactive stars. Now let's talk to him again, hopefully that was it, because this is a pretty long quest. Now we need some fuel, and then go talk to Farmer Fred. We gotta get some crops, so if we go here, it says grab crops from Farmer Fred. We just need to get one. Here's where Farmer Fred is, so that's the island we were just on, and I talked to the guy there, and then this is to the left of it. So there's the farm, it's pretty big, and then there's going to be a barn, and you just need to talk to Farmer Fred here. Then he is going to give you some crops just for talking to him. And once again, let's talk to the quest guy. So he says we need to combine the stuff with other things. Best place to do this is the volcano. Burn crops and radioactive stars and volcano. There it's doing it. The volcano is, well, you see the farm right here. Go to where the farm was and then go to the left of that. And it is this island, like, to the left and below the farm island place. So click to continue. And now we can go back to that guy again. If we talk to him again, we have to go to the prison and defeat 15 escaped prisoners. So I'm really hoping this ends soon. It's literally just running around the map for maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, hopefully not longer than that. The prison is on the island to the left of the spawn island, and it is right here. So I'm going to speed this up. It's just going to be me fighting the prisoners. This is extremely time consuming, so I'm going to speed it up by a lot, but I just talked to the guy again, and now I'm going to train a little bit, but let's go over to the beach area past the farm that we were at earlier, and so I'll show exactly where it is on the map. But, like, this game, it just takes around 40 minutes of running around the map to do. So it's right there on the island all the way to the left. And then we went there, inspected the thing in the house, now we talked to that guy again. And I'm just going to train a little bit so I can get more health because my health is kind of low. And then we'll go back to that beach area because that's where there's a cutscene. And we are not strong enough to fight the guy there yet. But I'm going to upgrade some stuff and we can go over there. If you've ever played any games like Anime Fighting Simulator, like for example this, then it's basically all the same where you just farm a whole bunch of different stuff and then your stats are better. But if we go up here, yeah, I died to that guy. So I'm going to train a little bit more, and then I'm going to go over to the strength area because there are areas that are going to give you more stuff whenever you're training. 
so let's just go over to this tree and yeah i got a bit of strength so that's good and then i'm gonna go over to the shield and then get more durability because my health was pretty low like i literally got one or two shot by that guy so we just got to do a whole bunch of push-ups here now we can go back to the sand area and then whenever we're at the lighthouse we can fight that guy so by the way the lighthouse is like past aj striker's house that we went to for that first quest it's pretty big you can't really miss it but we just gotta attack that guy, and there we go. There's the badge. Eighth is Ragdoll Mania. Whenever you join, press the code menu on the left of the screen, because you need $1,500 to buy Punch. And so let's start doing the codes. First code is going to be RPG. That will give $200. Second is Event. That gives $500. Third is Xmas. That also gives $500. Then next is New Update. That gives $200. And after that is release, which also gives 500. So now you're gonna have $2,190 by punch. You may need to rejoin if the metaverse event menu disappears, but press teleport to event. So you need to do three things break 40 bones, punch people 15 times, and collect 10 shards. I can punch, so I'm gonna punch my friend 15 times, and then I have to collect 10 shards after this. So the shards are out, like, in the open on the obstacle course thing, so I already collected two earlier, but they're gonna be on, like, display platforms. Like, you can see one right there, and they're glowing, so they're pretty easy to find, not hard to miss at all. I already have 12, or actually now 14, and 15 punches, so we're good on that. Now, to break bones, you want to go inside of the cannon, Get launched there, and then we have four bones broken. You can't really break that many on this map. The best way is probably going through the cannon. It does two every time. And then if you jump off, maybe it will be better, like, if you jump off of these places. And, yeah, that seems good. There's a trampoline, so we're gonna go a lot higher. I'm gonna speed this up. Just jump off of things until you break 40 bones. And go over to all of the glowing crystals until you have 10 of them. Then you're gonna get the crate. You should also buy Dive, that's gonna make you go faster. So right here, you can't really go from this to this just by jumping. But if you dive, it's gonna make you go up a little bit, and you can get up here. Also, you can break your bones by diving. If we dive straight into this wall, then we're gonna break some bones. So now we have 17 out of 40, but let's get this crystal. There we go, now we just press claim, and there's the badge. Ninth is Car Crushers 2. On this menu that pops up when you join, it says we need to unlock the transit bus, get the wedge plow add-on, and get three derby knockouts. So use the transit bus to collect the scraps, destroy the transit bus to collect vehicle scraps. Once you have enough power, or once you have enough scraps, you can purchase the wedge plow add-on in the customization menu. Okay. So, we're gonna have to use the transit bus. I already unlocked it. You can unlock it just by, like, crashing into other people, buying new cars, and just keep doing that until you get the transit bus. I used to play this game a lot, like, when it first released. There's the transit bus, so let's just click it, and it's 41,000 money, so it's gonna be very easy to get. Once you get it, you want to take it to somewhere where you can destroy it. Now, like I said earlier, there's a game mode where you crash into other people, but there's also the normal game mode, which is just you destroy your car. 
So put it on the conveyor in one of these rooms, and then go over to the control room. Some of them are on, like, the first level of where you just were, and some of them are, like, up here. Like, there's a ladder for this one. So enable conveyor, set it to fast, because you want it to go as fast as possible, and then press extend crushers or whatever the green button is to destroy your car. And there we're getting scraps. So now that is destroyed. Earlier, it said we needed the attachment called, like, I don't really remember exactly what it was called, Wedge something. So we need to go over to the dealership and then Customize, which is right here. And then we can go over to Add-ons, I think it was here, yeah. Then Wedge Plow, 2,725 scraps. Okay, you're gonna have to farm a lot with your bus to get that much. So I'm just gonna keep destroying my car until I get 2,725 scraps. Here's a quick tip, there are gonna be some that say bonus crusher outside of them and it's completely random, so if you see one like that, then it's gonna give you extra stuff, so plus 20% money, plus 50% scraps. So this is a good one to go through right now, and so let's just go up here and start it. But I'm gonna speed this up, it's just gonna be a lot of spawning and farming scraps. Now we finally have enough scraps to craft the thing, so let's go over to Customize, Add-ons, Wedge Plow, and then Purchase. Then it says I bought it, and now we are getting pretty close to the end of this. So get the Wedge Plow add-on, I did that, but for some reason it is not counting that. Okay, now I spawned my car and it did. So yeah, after you get that, spawn your car, then it will say you got it. Now we need to get three Derby knockouts. Once you're at the spawn, there's this thing that says Derby Arenas, and you want to teleport over to it, choose Beginner, because that is where the van is. Like, if you choose the other ones, they're gonna be people that have really good cars, so it's gonna be much harder to get knockouts. But you just need to get three knockouts with the van thing. So once you get teleported and then go to the dealership, choose this and then select. Now you want to try to hit people with the car and this is like the worst game mode for this. Because there are two juggernauts and there are like a lot of other people who are not juggernauts. So it is going to be very hard to kill the juggernauts because they have really overpowered stuff. But just try to knock out three people with this bus, then you're going to get the crate. There we go, we got the badge, 10th is Aviron. Go over to Striker, he is right here and he has a crate, so you can chat with him. He says you want the crate, haha, <laughs> well you have to earn it. Collect 20 gems and you will be given your prize. You can collect coins by reaching checkpoints and reaching the end. Wait, gems or coins? Uh, he said that you need gems, but then he says you need coins, so I guess he means the same thing. Yeah, it says 0 out of 20 right there. And so right now we need to go up here, because this is the obstacle course. So we can just go up. Oh wow, this is a pretty big obstacle course. 
Yeah, there we go, one out of 20. So now we just need to avoid these gems on the ground, it looks like. And so just do the obby at the checkpoints, collect the gem. It's going to be right on the checkpoint when you touch it. And just get 20 gems. I'm going to speed it up because it's just going to be me doing the obstacle course. This is the final diamond we need to get, and by the way, okay, there's the badge. So I got some more gems by completing the round, so whenever you finish the obstacle course, then you're going to get more gems. And the last game for Strikers Team, which is the 11th game in Zombie Task Force. Play multiplayer, then you can go over to create a squad, and then I'm just gonna choose that. So under the beginning, yeah, there's Urban Falls and East Bay Port, so click Urban Falls. Then story, public, and it doesn't say if you have to do easy, normal, or hard. So I'm just going to choose easy because of course, like, why would you not choose easy? That is just like, it makes the most sense because there are so many badges. So I recommend choosing easy and one of my friends joined. So I am going to wait or I'm going to press start so it creates the squad. And then they're going to be able to join. So there is me. There's my friend, and it says waiting for the squad leader to start. So you can press start mission right here, and it says teleporting in two seconds. Shoot the zombies, make sure you don't die, and then do that for chapter two also. Now we just gotta do the second one, so go back to play, and then create a squad. You can join someone else's squad if you're in a public server, and then choose chapter 2, story, public, easy, and then press start. Then it's gonna create the squad, and I'm just gonna wait for my friend to join, and someone joined, my friend joined, and I guess we're a trio now, so we'll start the mission, and I'm gonna speed this up too. Again, just shoot the zombies, go over to where it tells you to. There we go, that was actually not too hard, it just took kind of a long time. Now let's move on to Ren's team. The first game is Two Player Evolution Tycoon. Go over to this wooden house, and there are some Metaverse signs leading to it. And then we can already see Ren right there. If we interact with Ren, he says that he needs fruit. So if you get five fruit around the map, he'll give you a prize. You can press continue. And now we just need to find five fruit. So I'm going to turn up my graphics quality so it's easier to see like where fruit is and stuff. And so yeah, there's some fruit over there. There's fruit right there. I'm going to speed this up just to run around the map and get fruit. There we go, I got five fruit, so if we interact with Ren again, he's gonna say thanks for collecting and bringing me back some fruit, and you're gonna get the chest. Second is Pet Tycoon. What we need to do is go over to the Metaverse Champions area, so whenever you spawn, it says Metaverse Champions right there on that thing kind of far away. So let's walk over there real quick. Once you get here, there are going to be the quests on that board, and also Ren's gonna say once you collect all six champion pets, click on mystery chest to obtain it. Why can't we just steal it? It's right out in the open right there. Okay, let's go over here. So what you need to do, get the orange champion, kill an evil pet to obtain this, purchase any tycoon dropper, defeat a boss, equip a pet, use code metaverse, 
find it on pirate ship. The easiest is use code metaverse. So press the codes button right here, type in metaverse, it's in all capitals, and redeem. Then you're going to get this pet. So now let's equip a pet. If we go over to the pets menu, then we're going to have, well, if you have premium, you're going to have the premium pet. And then if you use that code, you're going to get this one. So let's just equip that. And I'm going to equip this one too. Then defeat a boss, purchase any tycoon dropper, and kill an evil pet. Along with the champion here that you have to find it on a pirate ship. So let's just go over to my tycoon and then purchase a tycoon dropper. So I'm going to reset so I can go back here and then it's going to respawn me. Then we can go to this, and then it's gonna open up. Once you purchase this space colony thing under conveyors, then you're going to unlock a dropper. So we needed to buy a dropper for the quest, so let's buy that. Then we are going to have the green champion. Then for the one at the pirate ship, you have to go over here, it's in the middle of the map, and I can already see it on the end of the ship, so I'll just go over here, and then you can just click it then you're going to get it. Now we need to kill an evil pet, so take out your sword. This pet looks kind of evil, so we're gonna kill it. It has 100 health, and I don't think it even attacks us, so we can just keep hitting it. Then, there we go, the orange champion is now in my inventory. The last thing we need to do is defeat a boss, so if you go past the pirate ship and then over to this area, here is the boss arena. And so let's just go inside, and it says boss battle starts in 8 minutes 14 seconds. VIP servers are free, so I recommend making one because you only have to wait 2 minutes for a boss battle to start. Like, if you join a VIP server that doesn't have anyone in it and it's a completely fresh server, then it's only going to be 2 minutes until the boss battle instead of having to wait like 7 or 8 minutes. Okay, it's starting in 3, 2, 1, and let's press teleport right here. I'm gonna speed it up. All you need to do is hit these angry pet things. We only need to hit it two more times, so, or actually one more time. There we go, now we have all of the champions. So let's go out of the boss area and back to the metaverse champions area. You can see here I have six out of six metaverse pets, so let's go over to Ren's chest. Click it, and there we go. Third is Ronald. Whenever you spawn in the lobby, you want to talk to Ren. He's right here. Press E. He says, I'm starving. I'll hand over a chest if you help me get a meal. So, escape with a burger in any part and talk with Ren. I don't think it matters which map you choose because all of them are going to have a burger on them. So, I'm going to choose Welcome to Ronald's, which is chapter one, because usually the first chapters in games are the easiest. So, it is going to start in two seconds. We just need to find a burger and then escape. This is basically the same as Piggy. So, just try to escape and find a burger. And yeah, there's a burger right there. So, we have a burger, and now we just need to beat this map. I'm gonna speed it up, since this is like Piggy, just go over to the doors, use the keys on the doors, use whatever you need to on the doors. The badge says you also need fries and a soda, which you can find randomly on the map, just like the burger. They go into different slots in your inventory, so you can still get them, and so I'm just gonna try getting a soda. There we go, we barely made it, but now we can go over to Ren and then give him that. Oh, now he's saying he wants soda, and so yeah, you do need to get the burger, fries, and soda. So he is not going to, like, just need the burger. He just said the burger in the beginning, but you actually need to get the soda too. So we're gonna do another map, because chapter 1 only had the burger and fries. So I'm gonna say in the chat, let's do part 2. 
or he said do number seven. Okay, seven. So yeah, seven has soda, one for burger and fries, and then seven for soda. So make sure you vote for part seven. On part seven, the soda is right here at the spawn, so you just need to collect it, and that was pretty easy. Make sure you avoid Ronald, though. You don't want to get hit by him. There we go, I got the soda, so now I'm gonna talk to Ren again, and I am... Okay, there I got the badge. Then the fourth game is the Labyrinth, and this one takes a long time. Ren is going to be at the spawn, you can just walk over to him, and then talk to him. So E to interact, and then press continue. My name is Ren Brightblade, you must be here to earn my crate for the Roblox Metaverse Champions event. To earn my crate, you must reach level 5. So, you can level up by mining ores, chopping trees, escaping the maze, or doing quests. So, you can also PvP, become a monster, craft weapons, and more. It says to join their group for 20% bonus XP, so I'm gonna temporarily join their group, and that is going to make this 20% faster. So, let's just join there. Then we can rejoin the server, because I'm pretty sure you have to rejoin after joining, so that the game can detect that you joined. There's someone you can talk to for quests, so I recommend talking to them, because then you're gonna be able to get XP fast. So they're right here, press E to interact, and then press show me. Then at first is exploring the gate. So we have to visit, or glade, I read that totally wrong, yeah. So if you want to do this, you have to go to a few places in the glade. And then visit the following NPCs, Monster Whisperer, Blacksmith. So yeah, just wander around and... Or actually, there are signs, because it says use the way signs to find... Yeah, there are, like, icons for all of them. So again, we just need to visit the Monster Hunter. And, uh... Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, Monster Whisperer, Blacksmith. I don't know how to say that. And then Teams, uh... Yeah, so there is daily quests over here. Let's get some daily quests, too. And you can press show me. Gather 15 diamond ores. And it's just gathering things. So I'm gonna speed this up just to do the stuff to do the quests. Or just farm things to get XP. Doesn't really matter. But whatever you do, make sure you get to level 5. Because that's when we're going to get the crate. This took way too long, you have to do the quests because each one gives you a level that's way faster than just running around and mining things normally, but it took like 10 minutes for that to craft so I spent Robux on points so I could skip that, but normally this quest is going to take around maybe 40 to 50 minutes, which in my opinion is way too long for a quest, but now I can finish this one. And I'm level 5. There we go, I got the badge, I rejoined to a public server. So once you get to level 5, rejoin to a public server, because then you'll get the crate there. I don't know why it's not working, like, whenever you originally get level 5, you just need to rejoin. And 5th is westbound. We need to rob Ren's train a thing, and we just gotta wait for the train and rob it. We gotta go to the train tracks. Oh, here's the train tracks. So, now we just gotta find the Wrens, it is going to be green, and I'm gonna try jumping on right here, we almost got on there, uh, okay, good, we got on, and now we just need to get over to Wrens, we can climb up here, and, yep, there's the green one, and it says hold F to place dynamite, hold F so you can do that, then it opens up, and there's the crate, so pick up hold F, there we go, and I got the badge. That was really fast, actually. Sixth is jump over the walls. You need to go over here to this area when you spawn, and then there is going to be a Ren's planet thing. So just touch this button, 
and then it will teleport you to the Ren area. Now you need to jump over the walls. So let's just jump over there, and then you need to keep going and just jump through basically everything. And there's one of my friends, I'm gonna jump over him, and then if I press the button, then he can go through. So yeah, once you press the button, then everyone else can go through. You have to work together to get one person over the wall, and then they can press the button, and everyone can go through. So I'm just gonna jump over my friends, or I guess they're gonna press the button, and then here, can't you just, like, go sideways? Oh, nope, you can't. So, yeah. Then you just gotta keep going, and then go past this area, and then press the button so everyone else can go through, and keep doing that for all of these. Ren's chest is at the end. This is actually really fast. So if you do this in a public server, it'll be a lot easier, but you can do this in a VIP server with some of your friends, because in public servers, like, some people may not press the button, and then it won't really work out too well, but you just need four people for this, and we have five people here, so it's gonna be a little easier. We just need to go above there, and there we go! Now we're at Ren's chest, and we can touch this, and we're gonna get teleported back to the spawn and get the badge. Seventh is Gods of Glory. In this game, you basically just need to attack the buildings and the citizens, so you can take out Kick if you're completely new, and just kick them. And then once you get enough mana to buy the Fireball, then go over to the shop and buy that. And then you can also buy minions. But you can just go over to places, buy stuff, like go over to the shop, buy things, upgrade things, and then attack everyone. So you need to defeat 15 of the henchmen. So I'm going to speed this up. This is just going to be me attacking them and upgrading my stuff sometimes. We just need to get one more kill, and there we go! You saved the metaverse, and I got the box. Eighth is Island Tribes. Whenever you join, you're gonna have a stick, and you need to hit trees with it. So there's a tree right here, we're gonna need to get three wood. So, hit this tree, and then, oh, it says there's wood, okay, yeah, let's get that, press F to pick it up. And then open your inventory. No, that's the totem menu. Not that that's the wrong one. Open your inventory slash crafting menu. Yeah, it's this one. So you can press C to open it. And then you need to make a weak pet net. So let's craft that. And then equip it right there. Then, wait, it says we need to make a raft. I don't want to do that. No, it's going to scam me. Okay, so what we need to do is catch a wisp. And that looks like a wisp, right? No, it unequipped it. You gotta go over to your inventory and press equip, I guess, and then try not to accidentally unequip it. So yeah, it says you need it to collect three wood from trees, craft a pet net, and equip and capture a wild spring wisp. So, there is a thing right there, let's get it. Oh, there we go, we got it, and there's the badge. So that's actually very easy. Ninth is Egg Farm Simulator. There's gonna be an egg rocket at this one that brings you to the chicken boss, and it launches once every 15 minutes. So just wait by it until it launches, and then whenever it brings you to the boss, you have to damage it for at least 20% of its health to get the crate. I suggest to join servers randomly until one of them has this circle around the egg, because starting from 100 seconds, the circle appears. So we just need to damage the alien chicken a whole bunch. And I have played this game before, so I'm pretty good at it, but I don't think that changes how much damage I do. So we need to do at least 200 damage in total. And I don't see exactly where my oxygen is. Uh-oh, I kind of died really fast there. Okay, so I guess you have to dodge its attack, so I'm gonna have to wait until another one appears. And it says, go to the moon, damage the alien chicken at least 20% HP before the oxygen runs out. 
Yeah, I didn't see exactly where the oxygen was. Yeah, just damage at 20%, then you're gonna get the crate. And 10th, the last game for Ren's team is whatever floats your boat. Just select a random spawn location, and there is going to be a circle. I'm not gonna spawn my boat yet, but there's an arrow pointing towards the circle, so we just need to get over to it. And if we zoom out a little bit or turn up my graphics quality so we can see that far, then yeah, there's a circle right there. And we need to survive in that in the end of the round. Uh-oh, it's starting to rain. Yeah, we probably want to spawn my boat now. And then, yeah, wait, I haven't played this game in so long. So if I want to spawn my boat, I just have to press a load. And then I don't really remember my boats. Because all of them, like you saw some of them say one year ago, two years ago. So yeah, we gotta spawn the boat. And then we can drive it. So... This is my boat from a while ago, and it is pretty bad, but we just need to drive it over to the circle and be alive there at the end of the round. So actually, this might be a little hard to do for me because of how bad my boat is, but I just gotta press S to go backwards and then W to go backwards whenever it's turned the opposite way, and we just need to roll over here. So I'm going to try turning to avoid this tree, and we just need to get over to the circle and survive in it. I'm going to speed this up. Just spawn whatever boat you have. If you don't have one, then you can press place and then place some random blocks once you go over to the circle. And then you just want to survive there. VIP servers are free, so you can go in your VIP server and then just stay there the entire time. There we go, we went in the circle and survived, and there's the badge, and next is Spark's team. The first game on Spark's team is Teddy. At spawn, Spark's is gonna be right here. So, you just gotta go over to the Spark's and then talk to her. So, talk. Spark says, My mystery box is hidden on Paradise Island, Chapter 7. And then that's it, I think that's all Spark says. Yep. So we need to go over to chapter 7 and then find Spark's mystery box, which we can go over here. And then we need to unlock this area to go to the next chapter, it looks like. Wait, let's talk to her. Pool 5 shrubs before going to your friend's house. Okay, let's just fight the shrubs. And there's kind of a bit of delay. So I guess we just need to do whatever it says to do and then keep doing that until we get to chapter 7. So I'm gonna speed this up, it's just gonna be me getting the shrubs and then going on to the next area, then collecting whatever I have to collect there, then repeating that. Oh wait, it looks like we can also get pets. So let's go over here, buy the pet, or wait no, those are gloves, not pets. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start speeding this up now. Here's chapter 2, and so we needed to get to chapter 7. This is definitely going to take a long time, so I'm just gonna continue speeding this up. It may take a bit over an hour or something. I don't know, but this is a very time-consuming quest. We finally made it to this island. This game has such a time-consuming quest. So anyways, we can go over here to Sparks and then step on this thing. Then Sparks is gonna say, You found my mystery box, congratulations! Are we gonna get the badge? There we go, we got the badge, that took such a long time. Second is incognito. When you spawn, go over to Sparks, she's gonna say help, and then... 
Sparks is going to say my name is Sparks Kilwa. I crashed my spaceship in this mysterious place. Will you help me find the missing pieces? Complete the four tasks and I will give you a prize. So, we need to do all four of these. Power core, blinker fluid, spaceship gear. The items are hidden around the different maps. Keep an eye out while playing to find them. If you get on this map where you spawn in like a parking lot, then you can go forwards and then there's going to be a forest area. And then that is the power core. So once you touch it, you're going to get one out of one for this. And you just need to walk up to it, touch it, and then I think there are multiple in all of the maps. If you go around to the back of the map, past this truck inside of the greenhouse, there is this, which is blinker fluid. If you get on this map where it's like a bank or a museum or something, I don't know, but there are statues at this one, then the blinker fluid is going to be right in this room, very close to the spawn. Then if you keep going towards the checkpoint A, and then go forward after that, you're going to see this, which is not the spaceship gear, so I don't need it, but just if you get this map, then go over here and get this one. On the grocery store map, in the back, there is going to be the spaceship gear, so let's just get it. And there we go, four out of four tasks completed. So the spawn is like right over here, and if you go to the back of the store, then turn right, it's gonna be here. The only thing you need to do after that is win a game, and since this takes around two to three rounds to do, you're probably going to win, since there are two teams if you're in a public server, or no matter like what server you're in, it's basically a 50-50 chance. But we got all four, we can press this and then claim, then we get the badge. Third is superpower fighting simulator, follow the arrow, and we need to talk to Sparks to get some quests. I think Sparks has five quests, so we just need to do all of those. So let's talk to Sparks, click here to talk. And Sparks is gonna say, hey there, I'm a Sparks, the metaverse, something. Uh, I'm just gonna keep clicking. Okay, so then if we go over here to quests, we're gonna see Sparks wants us to train endurance, strength, and a psychic. So how you do that? is if you've ever played any games like Anime Fighting Simulator, I think there's also a game called Super Power Fighting Simulator, or also Super Power Training Simulator. Like, if you've played any of those games, you already know how to play this. It's basically just there are, like, four different categories you can train in, and at this one, there's 100 strength required, 2 times strength boost, but we only need to get 25 for this first quest, so there we go. And then let's equip the other thing. This is push-ups and it will train endurance. And we need to get 25 of that. And then the third one is psychic, so we'll train that. I'm just going to speed this up. Go over to the places where it says strength boost, like this rock over there. If you need to train more strength. And then just equip whichever you need to train. So this is pretty simple, but it may take a bit of time. There we go, it took a little bit of time. One of the things you have to do is go over to upgrade and you have to press the shop button right here, then you can buy the ancient items because Sparks is going to give you a quest to buy five ancient items. But then once you equip it, like it gives you a boost and I got a legendary one, so my boost was pretty good. But now we did that, so we can talk to Sparks again. And then Sparks is going to say, here's my secret package. 
and then you are going to get the badge quest completed yeah there's the badge fourth is super striker league go to this thing in the middle and then you're going to be able to join around and we just need to win one public round to get the crate so go here press play now then it is going to teleport you somewhere and this is where you can fight people so in this server there are four minutes left you could join randomly until you get in a server where it is almost done and your team is winning but this is soccer so just go around try to get the soccer ball don't let the other team get it you can see the controls in the bottom left Finally, I got it. Fifth is the day the noobs took over Roblox 2. Whenever you get on this screen, just press OK to spawn in. And then it says to start your journey, enter the green door labeled Chapter 1. But we're not going to do that because we're going to do the quest. So it has a line going there. We're not doing that. We're going to go over to Sparks. So yeah, whenever you spawn, go to Sparks right here. Sparks says, want to earn my fourth prize? Enter this door and beat the obby. So let's go inside of here, and so I guess it's an obstacle course. Well, it isn't exactly an obstacle course, so just skip the cutscene here, and it says figure out why the egg rain hasn't started. So you need to go over to this group of people, and then it's going to automatically do a cutscene. So he's basically saying that I am hired as an intern to fix the egg machine, and then we have to go over to this orange portal on the bottom of the egg machine, and then hold E to start the puzzle. And you can just choose randomly because it won't really matter if you get them wrong. It will just ask the question again. So choose the ones that I got correct, correct, but there are like maybe five to ten different questions and maybe five to ten different eggs. So some of them are very easy, but then I kind of went back off of the elevator, but it's going to keep going up and down so we can just go back up again. And we have to melt the ice, so press E to melt the ice, go through this maze. I'm not sure if it's going to be different for you guys or if it's going to be the same for us, but like, just melt what I melted, and then we have this obstacle course, avoid the blue. The blue is going to make you die, so don't touch any of the blue stuff. Then in this room, activate the egg by pressing E while you're near it, or hold E, and then jump up these things on the wall, and then go off of the wall. Then there is this red portal, so hold E to pull that lever, an egg is going to come out, and it's an angry egg. So you need to just, like, try not to get hit by him. I'm not sure what happens if you die, because I didn't die from him, but get the egg from one side of it, and then bring it to that pink thing, and then go back to the other side, where there's that truss after you get the first egg, because we're getting the second egg now, and then collect it. Now we have to go through a forest, avoid the zombies, and then put it in the pink thing again. Now you want to go back over to this. I just did a bug report. The bug was banana. I don't know if it was a good idea to do a bug report for that. But I'm going to put the next egg in there. So just keep going back and forth. Get the egg. And now this is the final egg. And then you just need to go over to the other side again. Keep putting the eggs in that pink storage thing. Now go through the portal in the middle of the map. And you have to do an obstacle course. So this is not too hard at all. Just jump on the things, keep going forward on this one, try to avoid the Faberge eggs. Then the egg thing is going to open up, and he's going to say, intern, you're here. And then you get fired from being the intern, because they say it takes like four months, and the contract said that I had to fix the machine in a week. So then after this, then I'm going to give the egg to someone, and then I think that's the person telling the story, because they have Sparks Crate and the egg. So then they're saying they're giving me the crate. There we go, I got the crate. Sixth is find the square. You can only get it in the find the square round that has the colors and not the numbers. Or the Simon Says round because that one also has colors. But you just have to wait until that round happens. So right now it's happening. Simon Says, you just have to go over to the colors. And Simon Says is a little harder, 
because sometimes it says Simon says go to this color, and then sometimes it just doesn't say that, and then like those disappear. So you just need to go over to what it says, and it says go to yellow. But since this is Simon says, that is not a good idea because it didn't say Simon says go to yellow. There we go, I survived until around 25. 7th is Burger Bay. Whenever you join, you can pick a color. I'm gonna choose green because green is Pog, but then press play, and then you can select the house. I'm just gonna spawn mine right there. And then there is going to be a metaverse button right here. So it says complete all of these tasks to receive Spark's chest. So take customers' orders as a cashier, deliver orders as a delivery driver, bring supply crates to the restaurant as a supplier, fulfill customer orders as a cook, serve customers their orders as a server. So this is kind of like work at a pizza place, and you just need to do all of the quests as all of the roles that it says right there. But first is cashier, so I selected the cashier job, and I'm just going to claim my daily reward. So we need to go over to one of these things, press claim, and then greeting order whenever you're ready what sounds good uh this is like advanced work at a pizza place okay drinks blue fries yes burgers plain okay so you have to do three things i'm gonna speed this up it's just gonna be me fulfilling their orders Now we have to deliver orders as a delivery driver, so press the work button here, and then go to work. By the way, you can end your shift by pressing the red dot at the top in the middle of the screen, but we're going to go over to delivery driver, press select, and then we can get some delivery stuff. So press E to claim the bag, then you want to go over to the delivery cars. I'm gonna get in this one, and there's gonna be an arrow on the bottom of your screen pointing to where you need to go. So there's a bridge right here. The cars turn like really fast. Wow, okay. So we need to turn left here it looks like and just follow the arrow. And there is where we need to deliver it to. So we can just keep going this way. I'm gonna speed it up, just get delivery things, go over to the locations and then drop off the pizza or I forgot what we were cooking. Burgers, yeah, that's what we're cooking. There we go, that took quite a bit of time, but next is bring supply crates to the restaurant as a supplier, so let's end the shift, and then go to work. Then we need to be the supplier, so cashier, server, delivery, cook, supplier. This is the one we want to do, and then we need to go over to the truck, then there are arrows pointing into this area that we need to go to. So we gotta be on this middle part right here. Then it is going to bring that thing above us, and I think it is... Okay, there we go, we got it. Now we need to get out of it, and then press these buttons, I guess? So then crates are gonna go in the truck, let's just keep pressing them. And then it says unload truck, or wait, no. It is instantly loading the crates in, so now we just need to get in the truck and then unload the truck a thousand studs away. So that is a little far, but hopefully the truck is kind of fast. So let's just go this way, and then it says over here, 
bring supply crates to the restaurant as a supplier. I think we're bringing eight at once, so that is only going to be two trips, which is pretty fast. Actually, we only need to do one trip and then it's going to count as 16 crates. I swear that was only eight, but I guess maybe the truck had some hidden somewhere. So it might say eight if it does just do that again, but for me, I only had to go there once. Now we have to fulfill customer orders as a cook. So in the shift, collect the cash, and then work, go to work, and then server, and all we want to do a cook. So there we go, it's loading. What you need to do here is make what it says under the drinks area, burgers area, or fries area. Fries is probably the easiest because, well, there's only one type of fries, so you can do this kind of fast. And then drinks, there is the drink area. Bring it from the yellow area to the green area like I just did. And then more fries. And we're already at 4 out of 10. This one is really fast. And then you might need to cook the stuff a little bit. Like take out the buns, put the hamburger, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes. Wait, where are we? Wait, why am I trying to put another hamburger? No, we want to put another bun. There we go, deluxe burger. Then we can take that and put it right there. Then, yeah, that one takes the longest because for the other ones, you can just bring it right to where it says. And then we can use cups, put the cup there, and it's green flavored, press the green button. And then take the lid and straw, put it over here, right there. And 6 out of 10. So no one wants more fries still, but we need to make some more green drinks. So let's put that there. And then make this one too, or wait, no, we gotta press the button. Now we're on to the final thing, which is serve customers their orders as a server. So this seems the fastest, let's close that, then end the job, go back to work. And then now we're going to do this one, so select, and then it's gonna load. Now we can take the stuff, press E to take the tray, and then it's going to show you who you need to bring it over to. So this is kind of like the delivery one, but way faster. So you just need to go back and forth, bring the customers their stuff. There we go, we finished all of the quests and got the badge. Eighth is destined to fail. When you're in bed, it's gonna have a cutscene where it like goes to the alarm and you have to click it a whole bunch. Then it's gonna start moving around and just keep clicking it. Then it's gonna move really fast. So still keep trying to click it. Eventually it's gonna hit the portrait thing and it's gonna fall down. So we have a closet with some clothes and we gotta follow the arrows. So we're making a hot sauce cereal. We gotta put the cereal in, the milk and the hot sauce, then in the oven. Okay, so now everything is going on fire, that is not a good thing. So we have a fire extinguisher, it doesn't really work. So don't put out the fire, wait until you hear some doorbells ringing, and then go over to your door, which is... No, I just went the wrong way. Okay, it's this way. So go back where the arrows were, and then like go past one, just go to this front door, go where I went, and then click it. Then someone is saying your taxes are overdue, so you need to go where I go, click the printer thing, and then your taxes are going to come out, and this is where you're going to commit tax fraud. So you got to escape through the window, and then you just run out, and you get the badge. So that was actually very easy. Ninth is Bloxy Bingo. If we go over here, Sparks is going to be to the right through this door, and we press E to talk to Sparks. Then Sparks says, collect a special Metaverse Champions card from this page. Sit back, chill, and enjoy some rounds of Bloxy Bingo while your Metaverse card fills up. Once the Metaverse card is complete, come back here to pick up Sparks Mystery Box for week 4. So press collect card, and then it says 16 to go. So it's going to be automatically marked through rounds. You don't have to do anything, just wait for everything to fill up, and then you can go back to Sparks and get the crate.
been here for around 30 minutes and it still hasn't called 42 yet, so I recommend just going AFK here until you get all of the things on your card. But once you do, you can just talk to Sparks again, and then you're going to get the crate. 10th is Veloximon. So Sparks is this way, go past the spawn, past the fountain, into this forest, then Sparks is going to be right here. So we can press talk, Sparks says hi there friend, I just came here to, I don't know how to say that for a short vacation, I've been all over this place lately so this seemed like a nice spot to relax, and then the people here are so nice, and then... Yeah, then Spark says, would you like to go on this journey with me? Okay, but give me the crate. Yeah, Spark said we'll get a reward if we do. Spark says we need to collect five capture devices. So let's just go over to this thing right here, and then we're gonna be in a battle. Uh-oh, it has a bit of health, like, compared to mine. So just click it, and then I'm gonna try to catch it. Uh-oh, I'm losing a lot of health. Yeah, that is not good. I'm gonna try catching it. Let's go, hopefully it is, I'm catching it right now, hopefully it stays in there. Uh-oh, yay, there we go, we captured it. So, now uh, I just need the clicks of that, and I have two things that can fight things. So let's just go over to the menu right there, equip this thing, and wait, you can only have one out at once. Uh, if we talk to Sparks... Wait, collect five capture devices just from defeating that one Bloxy one. We got five capture devices. Okay. So now I guess we need to like capture it. And then once you capture it, it gives you capture devices. I'm not too sure how it works, but after capturing one, then I got five. So yeah. Then Sparks is going to say, yay, you did it. Okay, next we need to catch a Bloxymon. I just did that, but in order to make it easy, I've heard there's something called a catch berry. I think I saw a shop in the village. So yeah, we need to go over to this shop right here, and then Sparks is gonna give me some money to buy it. And it looks like we just need to... Oh no, huge lag spike. For some reason, Bloxymon has like insanely huge lag spikes. Oh yeah, I think we got that for leveling up, like whenever we leveled up, we got some capture devices, and that's why we got the quest thing. So yeah, we gotta go over here to the shop, and I can jump over that. Yep, we're in the village, and if I open the store, we need to get the berry thing. So there's grapes, nope, don't want that. Catch fruit, yeah, that's what we want. So buy, did I get one? Okay, I think I got one, yeah, now we have two. So we need to go... Oh, and I just needed to get two, so yeah, get two of those, then we can go back over to Sparks, and then Sparks is gonna say, thank you so much, Cat catching a Bloxymon will be super easy now, well, I don't know how, and would you mind showing me, yeah, okay, so I guess we have to go over to the Bloxymon and just capture it, I don't want this one, this dog looks super weird, I don't know, I'm gonna go get another one. Yeah, now we can try fighting this one, and it is a little less strong than mine is, so that seems fine. We just need to attack it, and then feed him the thing. Uh-oh, use the thing. Swipe the bubbles, uh, oh, okay, yeah, we just need to hit these, and then it's gonna do some weird mudslide thing. And that's probably gonna be good and do a lot of damage. So, oh, wow, that's a lot of damage that we did to that. So, feed it the fancy fruit thing. Then we can try catching it. And it has pretty low health, and we fed it the fruit, so if it doesn't stay in, it's a scammer. Okay, there we go. It looks like I captured it. Yep, we did. So, now it's going to go through this screen again. Then we can go back to Sparks, and then talk. So, Sparks said she caught one, and uh-oh, Sparks wants to fight me. That doesn't sound good, I'm probably gonna die. I finally evolved this thing, and it took like 50 candy and a thousand gold, or two thousand gold or something. So it took kind of a long time to farm to get that much, you just have to do the quests it says on the side here. And then if you go over to codes, you can use the codes berry and easter. 
So that's going to give you a little bit of stuff. Make sure you use those. But you just need to farm enough until your pet is strong enough to beat Spark's pet. So I'm going to complete these quests over here. I did a few quests, spent some Robux, and now I upgraded this. And you're going to have to farm a lot to get enough candy to upgrade your stuff. So this is kind of like a very grindy game, and you're gonna have to farm a lot to be able to actually fight Sparks. So now I have enough to finally fight this, we have the same exact BP. So I just have to spam a click, hopefully I can do enough damage and it doesn't damage me that much, and then I have to use the break thing. So there we go, now we can use this. Bruh, it literally got me so low. How does it have so much more damage than I do? Maybe I'll have to capture another thing and then upgrade that. Then maybe I'll finally be able to do enough damage to defeat this. Oh no, I lost, bruh. It was literally one shot. Maybe if I click faster, I can do that. I legit just caught something that has 192 BP. So if I don't win against Sparks, then this is literally rigged. So we gotta go over to Sparks. Talk. Okay, let's fight and 192 versus 132 it's literally the exact same thing so i should be guaranteed to win because again exact same thing and then i have to use stomp so swipe the bubbles and we just need to swipe across those then there we go we did a bit of damage yeah that was good we're definitely going to win so we just need to use stomp again and then we got this so just capture stuff, upgrade it, capture this thing that has 192 BP, because like when I rejoined it was still there, so I think it always spawns in that same location in the forest, so just walk around the forest until you find one, and then you can finally be a Sparks by doing that. Now we can talk to Sparks, and then Sparks is gonna give you the badge. Did we finally get the badge? Yes, we did. Okay. And the 11th game, which is the final one, is Travel to Unicorn Island Obby. You just need to do the obstacle course. If you normally do it, like, around the checkpoints, some checkpoints are going to have a crystal. Once you get all seven, you just need to go to the end of the obby. So it's kind of like the other Unicorn Obby one, where you just have to beat the obby. But this time, you got to make sure you collect all seven crystals on your way to the end. I'm going to speed this up. It's just going to be me doing the obstacle course and getting the crystals at some of the checkpoints. But the crystals are on the ground. All you need to do is touch them to collect them. There we go, we got the final crystal, and it went in that area over there, and then it's gonna say we got it quickly run down the slide, so we just need to go down here, and then, does it make us sit? Okay, good, it does, so we can go down the slide really fast, and then now we just need to go over here to the sparks chest, and wait, no, we gotta talk to this guy, it looks like, because I can press E to talk to him, but wait, it's not letting me talk to him, okay. Well, let's just go over to the Sparks chest, because it's right here, and then just flip the switch. So we gotta flip this light switch thing, press E to activate, and then it is going to make the chest come out, so you just need to press E to get the chest. Then you're going to get the badge. Then after that is Faye's team. The first game on Faye's team is Bean Blast. Go over to Faye and hold E to talk to her. She's gonna say, hey, if you're here for the Metaverse event, I have some bad news. The portal is broken. And then Faye is gonna say, you need three meta shards to fix the portal. Then Faye is going to ask you if you can help, press yes, and then Faye is going to say thanks. They should be scattered throughout different mini games. If you find one, walk up to it and you should be able to collect it. And then 
Faye is gonna give the portal, the Faye is gonna open the portal once we get those. So we just gotta go to three different maps and then get the Metaverse Champions Crystal there. So yeah, whenever you spawn, talk to Faye, then go to three different maps, get the Metaverse Crystal there, go back to Faye, then you can open the portal. So on this one, it is right there, we just need to collect it, and then... So go up to it, hold E. You can see how many crystals you've collected in the bottom right above your coins. So right now we have one, and the next round is going to start in two seconds. So let's just wait for the start, then selecting minigame. Now it's going to start in around five seconds. So we just got to wait for this one, and then it is going to teleport us. So there we go, it's teleporting, and there's the crystal right in the middle of the map. We just need to collect it, and this is the one where you gotta go to whatever color it says, but we're all gonna die, so that it moves us on to the next round. We are on Capture the Flag again, this is where I got the first crystal, but since it is a new round, the crystal is back there, and we just need to collect it. So hold E to collect it. Then we have three, and we gotta wait until this round ends so that we can go back to the lobby. Now we're back at the spawn so we can talk to Faye, and Faye is gonna say, You found all three meta shards. I can finally get this portal back up and working. Let's see, perfect. Now all you need to do is a hop on in. Fingers crossed, good luck. Then you can press buy, go through the portal, and then it is teleporting us somewhere. Okay, and then loading complete. So, this is an obstacle course. You have to beat the obby for the crate. Oh no, in this game, it's like you jump farther. Earlier it did that. Like, you jump further than you actually jump. So take that into account whenever you're doing this obstacle course. Like, whenever you land, it makes you go a little bit closer forward, so, like, just make sure you don't fall. And I think there are checkpoints, not too sure, I don't want to test that. So, let's just- Oh! Okay, that was- Oh! No, 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 no! Okay, that was very close. Yeah, we just need to go down here, and then this way. So it looks like we're almost- Oh no, that makes- that slides! I didn't know that slid. Okay, so you gotta jump, like, sideways on it, where you're facing that way, because if you're just going forwards like this, then you're gonna slide off. Just make sure you're very careful. Then on this sliding part, walk backwards while you're going down, so that you don't go really fast. I think you could go really fast and it would be fine, but I don't want to test that. So Faye is right here, hold E to collect the crate, and there's the badge. Second is RB Battles. This is the hardest quest on Faye's team. Turn on AFK mode so that it doesn't teleport you into a round. But as you can see, Faye is right there. So we just need to talk to Faye. If you spawn over there, go around the shop. But just talk to Faye. And then Faye is going to tell you what you need to do. So, Faye says, Hey Battler, this hot egg loon will take you all the way to the RB Battles egg hunt. I mean, Metaverse Champions mission, you need two coal eggs to power up, which you can find hidden in any of the mini games. So, I guess this is gonna be like the other game, Bean Blast, where you just need to find the eggs, or find two things on the maps, and then you can activate this portal area. So then Faye says, I don't have enough. Of course I don't, you just told me that. Okay, so whenever the round starts, well, turn off AFK mode so that you can actually go into the rounds now. But whenever the round starts, just try to find the coal egg. We're currently on the Spleef map, so let's get the coal egg. It is down here, so we just need to wait for those to disappear. And right there, yeah. So once you touch that, it is going to give you the egg, and you can just fall if you want, so that you can go on to the next round. Now we're in a simulator scrimmage, so if you go over to the middle of the map behind this building, then there is another coal egg. Now that we've got both of the coal eggs, if we talk to Faye again, she says the exact same thing, so just go through this coal egg area and then to this, and now it is going to start in 35 seconds. So only one of my friends has both of the coal eggs, so he can go through here. Or wait, I think another one of my friends does too. 
So it's going to be 3 out of 4, because you can have up to 4 players here. It's going to teleport you to a place that has a hot air balloon, and this is kind of like a cutscene you can't really move around. And you just gotta wait until you get to the island with Faye. So Faye is there, collect those shiny things around this island that I'm collecting right now. And then you're gonna get this flame gun thing. But you want to collect all of those black orbs. So you see I'm collecting the black orbs. There are around 70 here and you'll need to collect 60. So I recommend doing this with four players. It's gonna be much easier. Probably gonna take way longer. May not even be possible with just one player. But you want to collect the key, once you get 60 orbs, the key is going to open up and you can get it. And then you can go to this gate, open it up, and then the key is going to run away from you, so you need to chase the key. And then if you go far enough into the maze, the key is just going to stop running it, and then you can get it. So my friend got the key, he's going to open up this door, and then we can go through. This is probably the most confusing part of it. So there are going to be lily pads or some sort of plant on the trees, and you need to climb up them and then get to the top of the tree. There are also zip lines you can use by pressing Z when you go up to them, it's going to prompt you to do that. So right now I'm climbing one of the trees, and so I think there are seven trees in total, or six trees but they all have runes on them. So you need to get the rune and then go up here. I didn't get the rune, I'm just going up here to show you guys, but you need to make that look like it does on the screen. So you saw there was a small screen and there was like a square thing where you can fit six squares in it. So you need to make the small screen match the big thing and there are gonna be six runes that you need to put in it. So yeah, you just saw me take one of the zip lines and I got one of the runes so I can take the zip line back. And then you can't actually jump up there with the rune, you need to use the zip line. So if I go the other way, like if I go back here and then up this zip line, then up this zip line, and then climb up here, then I can get up here. Now I need to put that in the middle there, and we have all six runes. So now it forms two squares, I'm not sure if it's different for other people, but you're gonna get the key. Just make it look like the small screen does though, and then use the key on this door. Now we're moving on to the next area. There are a lot of the bunnies with laser guns here, so you want to avoid them, but in the middle of all of them, in the very middle of the map, there's the key. I don't know if it spawns in different locations, it might, so just wander around the map until you find the key. It's a pretty small map though, but again, my friend got it in the middle, so we open up this area. Then there are a whole bunch of cards, you need to pick them up, you can walk over them to pick them up and then put them in the middle of the computer and then all of them are wrong except for one one is going to be right but once you use that Faye is going to teleport you to the metaverse boss and don't shoot the egg yet because the egg is going to open and shooting the egg is just going to waste your ammo you need a lot of ammo for this because it takes kind of a long time so i'm going to speed this up even faster but you just need to shoot the boss in the middle you can press f to launch your bomb thing so press f a whole bunch click a whole bunch and then once he gets to half health, he is going to change to another form that does a bit more damage. And he has other attacks, so just try to avoid his attacks. It's pretty easy. I didn't die at all, I barely even took any damage. Around one-third or one-fourth health, he turns into another form that's blue. And here he does a bit more damage, so try to avoid all of his attacks. You're also stunned for longer if he does hit you. Here we go, that's how to get the badge. Third is Roll Citizens. VIP servers here are free, I recommend doing this in a VIP server with one of your friends, it just seems a lot easier, or multiple of your friends. Anyways, whenever you join it's gonna say Metaverse Champions, support Fei Yoshida by completing one of two quests, Criminal and Police. I'm gonna go with Police, you can choose Criminal if you want to. But then it's gonna say, become a police officer at the police station. Here's how to become a police officer, it doesn't matter where you spawn because you're gonna be able to teleport to the parking garage with your phone and then I'll show where to go from there. So you need to do that to get your car. Press phone and then my car, click this car, or if you have a better car then you can click that one. Then it says car spawned at parking garage, press teleport, then you're gonna be over here. Now you just need to go out of the parking garage, and the police building is the really big building. Like, it is pretty tall. So we can just go around here, and then... That's a very tall building, but that is not the police station. So turn at Row City News, and then keep going forward. Pretty sure it is this one. Yep, it is definitely this one. So now go out of your car, open the door... And it's gonna take like a few seconds to load and you can't go in the doors yet, now it loaded. 
So press F to open the door, and there is going to be this platform right here that says police officer, $18 an hour. Step there, then press start, and we're a police officer now. We need to arrest three criminals, and it says there's a criminal over there because one of my friends who chose to be a police officer is by him, so it's marking him for the other police officers, I'm assuming. And we can't really drive the car, it's not moving at all. So I guess we're just gonna have to run over there. So we have handcuffs, and I'm just gonna use handcuffs, maybe tasers. Like if you're doing this in a public server, you should use a taser because they might try to fight you. Again, VIP servers are free, so you can just go in one with some of your friends and then arrest them. It will be much easier to do it that way. So I'm gonna taser him and then arrest him. So there, and then we gotta take out the handcuffs and then press F to arrest, and one out of three. So let's just arrest him two more times. I arrested him again, and you have to taser the criminal before arresting them. Like, you can't just walk up to them and arrest them. You have to taser them before, unless it just glitched, but it wouldn't let me arrest him until I used the taser. I think we found a glitch. So if you're a criminal and do emotes, then the police can't arrest you, because he was doing emotes and it wouldn't let me arrest him. Now I can, and there we go, I got the badge, so that was pretty easy. Then the fourth game is My Skate Park. You want to press Skate, and then it is going to load you here. Faye is gonna say, hey there fellow skater, I could really use your help, someone stole my board and hid the parts all around the park. And then Faye is going to say, if you can find the pieces and bring them to me, I will gladly repay you. So Faye is saying we're going to get the case if we do that, and I recommend taking screenshots of all of these. The first one was at a blue circle thing, so from the spawn I can already see a blue circle over there, so let's just go this way. And this is a little hard to control, may take a few minutes to get used to this, but you can see right there is the skate thing. So I think, yeah, we can go off of the skateboard and then just touch that. We've got one out of three now. Now we're gonna head from this blue circle over to that area, because that has the next thing. So go down here. I am skating upside down. Uh, that is not a good thing. Oh no, now I'm on the ground. Uh, okay, let's go back on the skateboard and then go over here. So as you can see, there's a shiny thing right there, and that's what we need to collect, so we can go over here, and I think we can just stop skating and then jump up here, yep we can, and then collect these. Now we need to get the actual board part of Faye's skateboard, so click to skate again, and we're gonna go this way towards that big thing. And we're actually gonna go around it. I recommend if you're climbing up this to stop skating, unless if you've played this game before and are really good at skating, because that's just gonna make it a little harder, because there are like so many places where you can fall down, so you have to drive it perfectly this way. So we need to go up there on that, and so let's just go this way. I'm gonna take out my skateboard, because there's a big open area right here, so we can go faster. And then it is in between like the red and purple thing. So if we go over here, yep, we can see Faye's board, and so let's stop skating, go up here, and then collect Faye's board. Then Faye is gonna say thank you so much, and you're gonna get the badge. Fifth is speedrun simulator. When you spawn, there's going to be a portal that says metaverse event above it, so just go through the portal, then you are going to receive the badge. Sixth is guesty. Whenever the round is over and the voting starts, you want to vote for the metaverse chapter, because that's where you can get the crate, and then you need to vote for player. I mean, it doesn't have to be player, but it's going to be much easier because if you're in a VIP server or a public server, whoever is player is most likely not going to try to attack you so that everyone can get the crate, because most people playing are probably playing for the crate. There aren't that many things you need, so this should be kind of easy. I got the camera, and it's completely useless. It's used for stopping Guesty, so unless if Guesty is a bot or if we're in a public server and Guesty is a player trying to attack us, then we're not gonna need it. But Faye is trapped under there, so we got the gold key from the bushes, and we can use it over here. So let's just use it on this door. And then we got the red key, so let's go over to the red key door, and then open it up, that's the restaurant. So now in here, my friend got the key, and I got the orange key card from the other room. So he's going to open up the next area, and it is there, then we can go over to the white key door or silver key door and use the orange key card. Now we got the lever that we can use to rescue Faye. 
So if we put it there, then Faye is going to be out of under the train. So now we just need to get the spray paint can. So we use the shovel to get money, use the money to get the other stuff that my friend just got, and then use that to get the spray paint from in here. And then now we can go back to Faye. There we go, we got the badge. Seventh is Firefighters. Whenever you spawn, you need to talk to Faye and then extinguish six purple fires. And I'm gonna vote for the apartment. Okay, we spawn. So we have an axe and a fire extinguisher. Now we need to go down this pole and then into the fire truck. So E to go inside. And nope, it didn't put me in the driver's seat. Yeah, we wanna go in the driver's seat. So now we need to drive to the end of this road. Oh, if you go on the curve, like, it kind of glitches out your truck. Bruh, so we have to, like, keep turning on this road, I guess. Why does this road have so many turns? Okay, and then if we keep going, there are a lot of fires right there. Yep, so we need to extinguish six purple ones. There are eight citizens, and there are eight minutes left. And it won't let me get out. Okay, never mind, you gotta press E to go out. And we have the fire extinguisher, let's extinguish that one. And we need to move this back a little bit. It's stuck, it won't let me move it. Okay, this game is a little glitchy. So we need to break in the window, we can use the axe to do that. And then I can put out the fire with the fire extinguisher. So you need to move your mouse up and down to do this. And I recommend zooming in all the way because it seems easier. So I see a purple fire above me. Okay, let's just ignore all the citizens. They don't really need help. We just need to get the crate. So we need to extinguish this fire and then extinguish the other ones too, I guess, so that the purple one can spawn. And there's another purple one. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like they're too rare. Now we have two. I'm going to speed this up. Just extinguish the purple fires. Once you run out of stuff in your fire extinguisher, go back to your truck and then to this refueling station, and you just need to stand by it for a little bit of time. You can buy for 20 Robux in an instant refuel, but that's not worth it, you can literally just wait for it to refuel. There we go, we got the badge, so you don't have to rescue all of the citizens, you just need to extinguish six fires and then wait for the round to end, or well, six purple fires. Eighth is Ghost Simulator, this one also takes a little bit of time. Once you spawn, you need to follow this, it says Metaverse Green Portal, and then we can see the teleport right here. So just go over to the portal, teleport to Metaverse, yes. Once you get teleported here, talk to the Metaverse Champions NPC and they're gonna give you a quest to vacuum some ghosts. But before you do anything, use these codes to get some pretty good stuff. So two years is going to give you a hundred times pet. That's better than a pet I spent 800 Robux on a while ago. So yeah, definitely use that code. Then the next code is M3TA. That is going to give you Sunset Pegasus, and if we go over to my inventory, then we can see it right there, and it's also 100 times. So these are some very good pets that you get from the codes, make sure you equip them both. Whenever you press equip, choose an empty pet slot, and there, so now here's how to play. You can press Q to take out your ghost vacuum, and then X to take out your hoverboard, but if you're completely new, you won't have a hoverboard. If you just want to get the crate here and don't plan on actually playing the game after the event, then it's not really worth farming, but I suggest just walk over to the places you need to go. Don't get it if you don't have it, because it's gonna take too long. So let's vacuum the ghosts now. You just need to go over to them, click on them, and then their health is gonna go down. So I need to get five of those and three of these.
If there aren't enough mushroom ghosts, then just capture the fox ghosts until more mushroom ones spawn. But now we can talk to ghost hunter Mia again, so she's gonna give us another quest. And we get emeralds, so we're probably going to have to use them soon for something. And then she's saying to find the wishing well. Now we need to find the wishing well, and I found it, it's over here. So just go down this path and then touch the wishing well, then you're going to be able to complete the next quest. And she's gonna give me some more emeralds, so then we're going to get the third quest. It said two out of four, so this is gonna be three out of four. And so, uh-oh, I have to fight another ghost. It probably isn't gonna be that hard. Okay, wait, we just need to unbox a pet from the spring shop. So the spring shop is right here, let's just touch that, and then pet crate, metaverse crate, purchase. And we got an uncommon pet, which isn't really that good, probably. And now we can return to Ghost Hunter Mia again and get the final quest. So the barrier is going to open if I use the starlight crystal, and so now we have to defeat the boss meep. Let's go over here, I saw the thing where you need to go through, so just go this way down the path, and then to this wall. So there's water right here, go through the water, and then open up this area. So now you need to go here, it says one minute, we just need to wait until the boss battle starts. There it teleported us, so ghosts 20, I guess we just need to defeat the ghosts and take out this. Uh oh, they're damaging me, that's not a good thing. So it looks like, oh wow, they're damaging me a lot, or like I'm not taking any damage, but they're just hitting me a lot with stuff. So try not to get hit by them, because it's going to make you stop attacking them. And there are 18 left, you can't actually see their health, so just attack them until they disappear. I'm gonna speed this up, just keep attacking the ghosts. Whenever they hit you, your corruption level goes up, so try not to get hit by them because that could like do kind of a lot of damage to you, and then you're probably gonna need to restart if your corruption reaches 100%. I don't know how I won that, I just kept dodging everything, and somehow my dodging was good enough to not get hit by him, so you're probably gonna need to do this with other people, because it is kind of hard to solo the boss. Like, especially since I didn't really know you weren't supposed to get hit by the things until the very end. So yeah, if you get hit, try not to get hit, because that's gonna increase your corruption. So let's just talk to Mia again, and then... You're gonna get phase mystery box number four along with some in-game stuff. Ninth is Bloxy Wars. Deploy and then choose any team it doesn't really matter, but during the round power-ups are going to spawn and you just need to collect 10 meta eggs. Sometimes the power-ups are going to be an egg and you just walk over to it, collect it, and once you get 10 you'll get the crate. So I'm gonna speed this up, just run around the map, get them, and I just got one right now. There we go, we got the crate. 10th is Dragon Adventures. If you spawn far away from this area, just press teleport here. If you spawn at the spawn, you can just walk over to Faye, because Faye is literally right here. So you can press E to talk to Faye, 
Then Faye is going to say, oh, you're here just in time. We need you and your dragon's help to prepare our village for an attack from the fire monster. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Head into the forest and find Jack the Lumberjack. He has a few tasks for you. You're going to need to equip your dragon to do this. So go over to Lair, click any dragon that you have, click it, and then equip. So now we need to follow the arrow. Just follow the purple arrows. And we got to go over to this woodcutter guy. So, he wants me to bring him three piles of wood, there's one right there. All of the wood you need to bring him glows purple and has those purple effects. So, equip your dragon again, and then get the wood, bring it to the drop-off area, then get the next one, which is over here, and you can see it because it's glowing, that one's pretty close. Then the next one is this way, you can get it, bring it back, and then we're good with that quest. So now we have to go over to another NPC and fix some water stuff. So we're going to have to use the dragon's fire ability thing to do this. And so after you talk to the NPC, she's going to say that you need to fix the water. So equip your dragon, go over to the water things, and then you're going to need to press F to use the fire ability. So if I press F, then that makes a check mark appear where the leak was, and then do that for all of the leaks. And then once you do that, you can go back to Faye. And so let's just fly back over to Faye out of the spawn. Then Faye is going to give you another quest. So the fire monster is here, and you need to fight it with your dragon. So equip your dragon, and then go over to it. There's going to be another purple arrow pointing there, and this is actually a little far away. So you see there's like a fire portal in the sky, and it is right there on the ground. So how you damage it, you have to click, and my dragon is a little hungry, so I'm just going to feed it some apples real quick. You can go down and then equip whatever food you have, and then spam and feed it. So we can continue clicking, and for some reason in the very beginning it wasn't really registering the clicks, but then it started to work, and now all of the clicks are counting, so we just got to keep clicking, it's at 1,250 health, and my dragon is very low. So my dragon's probably going to die, but for some reason when it died, it didn't really completely die. I could still fly on it, and it would still fight, but now we defeated the fire monster, and we can go back to Faye at the spawn. Here's the badge, and the last game for this entire event is The Clown Killing is Reborn. Faye is going to be at the spawn and say some quests that you need to do. So the quests are win a game, find Faye's spray paint can, find Faye's backpack, and find Faye's radio. Then you're going to get the crate after you complete all of these. It says two within the maps, one within the lobby, and Faye's spray paint can is literally right by this sign. So just touch it, and then you're going to complete this quest. I spawned around right here on the houses map, so you want to go this way, and then keep going around this cliff area. Then there's going to be a place you can walk into, and it's going to have Faye's radio. So go in here, and then go down here, keep going forward, then Faye's radio is going to be right here. On the headquarters map, Faye's radio is also in the kitchen, so if you go from the spawn over through this office room and then to the kitchen, then you're going to see Faye's radio right there. So if you don't get that house map, I think it was called like Spectral House or something. Again, don't remember the exact name, but this map is named Headquarters and the radio is right here in the kitchen. Wins only count in a public server, so make sure whenever you do the win a game quest, you're in a public server or else it won't count because I won three times in my VIP server and it didn't give me this. And also it didn't increase my win amount on the leaderboard here. And then when I win once in a public server, it makes it go from zero to one and then I finished this quest. Here how to win so if you're a player you just need to survive the entire round which lasts for four minutes there's also a radio not phase radio there's another radio and it is like the normal one that's always been in this game so you just need to go over to it and if you get the gun or if someone else goes to it and gets the gun they can try shooting the clown it only has one shot though and if they hit the clown then the round is going to end because the clown died but if you're the clown to win you have to kill everyone phase backpack is on the blizzard map i spawned here around the pool so if you don't spawn here just wander around the map until you find this pool area 
and then you want to go forward towards these trees, towards this wall, and then in the very corner right here, there is going to be Faye's backpack. So we just need to collect that. Now we can go over to Faye and complete this quest. So yep, all of those are checked, and if we touch the crate, then we're going to get it. But that's how to get all 43 badges in week 4 of the Roblox Metaverse Champions event, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more guides on this event, like the video, join my Discord server links in the description, follow my Twitter at Talanthric, use star code Talanthric to support my channel, and link in the description to playlist. It's called Roblox Metaverse Champions Guide, it has all my other videos on this event on it. So if you want to see how to get some other stuff in this event, then check that out. I almost had all crates, but I kind of already showed how to get all crates in this video. But there's an egg you can get in the lobby. So if you want to see how to get the egg, then my video on that's on that playlist. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.